Hey, Friday. Uh-huh. <laughs> We're in LA. LA. Yes, it's so yes. nice here. Yesterday Sun. rained a little, but the two days before that, 80 degrees. But they need sunny. the rain, and so everything is green, and it smells beautiful. It's fabulous. And we were hanging out in Beverly Hills. So we've been shopping yes, and dining. Yes. And we hit Mr. Chow's yesterday. It's <gasps> been a lot of fun. Drunken fish. I have never had a better meal. I know. I'm Mr. Chow's girl. Oh. I love it. What is our subject today? Masturbation for women and girls. What I was inspired by, we're staying in this little enclave, a mm. lesbian enclave. And it's so nice to spend time with just women, like just female energy. We're having such a good time. I want to come back. And I think we're going to do three months a year in the yes. winter months here. Yes. And see, this is this is what I loved about doing the workshops. Just women. Yes, and this is <sighs> and this it. goes back to the seventies with consciousness raising. In in the in nineteen seventy when I started it in seventy, it was the first time I was in a group of all women. Do you know that I have a family here? This is I know. This is we're my, coming back. This is it. This yeah. is our pet. We're staying in our private own little apartment. It's beautiful. And we're gonna so you're gonna be seeing us in LA. So we're gonna answer all the questions we've gotten in the last few weeks on masturbation techniques. Yes. So, um, this is written by a 25-year-old woman. I thought she was going to be older when I read the question, so I was really interested. Um, I've been masturbating since I was six. I used to orgasm quickly by rubbing my clitoris. Now it takes over 15 minutes, and I have to tense my legs tight. What can I do to improve my masturbation technique and orgasm during partner sex? Very easy. Very easy. First of all, 15 minutes is not a long time to spend no. masturbating. That's ridiculous that it would be, you know. They, we, I'm going to say this again. Women keep trying to match their sexuality to, to male. Mm -hmm. We operate differently. Much differently. We need to take more time. So here's the other thing. Uh, the Tensing the legs is, a, is building tension, but it's doing it in a very limited way. Now, mind you, I did it for years. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm going to repeat, there's no such thing as having a wrong orgasm. They're or the all, bad, yeah. yeah. Everyone is good. But with your leg tension, when you straighten out your legs, and, uh, all you have to do is bend your legs, get in, uh, on your back, bend your legs, and start rocking the pelvis and breathing. Keep the energy moving. Don't lock down. Because, you, yes, that creates tension, but it's not going to be a good, as good an orgasm. Because you're not using your PC muscle? Is that what it is? It's your PC mu muscle, it's your pelvic movement, and mm -hmm. it's the breathing. The energy runs on the breath. Okay, next question. This is from an older lady. This would be from a woman. <laughs> I'm 61, and penetration has always been painful. I have clitoral orgasms, but how can I work out my vagina and get past this discomfort? She's way past the, the, the menopause, okay? Mm -hmm. And when, when, when we go through menopause and we get on the other side, the hormone levels have dropped. Now, I went through this in my, in my 60s, and at 65, I decided I wanted to do something kinky, which was intercourse with a man. <laughs> Ever she'd done everything else. <laughs> well, I, it was like I was coming full circle. I wanted to see what... You, you know, just I, wanted to shock all your friends. <laughs> kind of it, like, guess what, guys? <laughs> I'm hetero again. <laughs> well, I'm everything. So I had to get my hormone levels checked. Your vaginal lining thins out. You need hormone replacement, but don't do the pharmaceutical standard route. Get plant-based hormones. It's called, they call them uh, bio bioidentical, and you've got to get it from a. You need a prescription for that. Prescription, and you've got to go through a bi a, a compounding. Pharmacy, which means they measure it just for you. That's right. Barbara Bartlett told me that, that there's no cream right off the shelf that you can get. You have to go, and they have to make it for well, you. Well, they'll give you a moisturizing cream for the vaginal lung. No, but it takes a little It takes a little uh, uh, estrogen, gotcha. and that has to come through okay. your form. And whoever asked this question, go on our website yes. and search for menopause. Yes, one sexologist's experience. Yes, because I've been with through hormone it. therapy. Yes. And I decided under I, the essay section. I decided I wanted to renovate my vagina and I did it I didn't do it until I was 65. Hmm. And then which meant that and then I got to say for the older women, your 70s is the youth of old age. I love what she says. And <laughs> my my 70s, which I am now ending, was one of the best. One of the best.
I am I, so excited. Who knew this? I because everybody goes oh, oh, menopause. Sandy. They think that's it. You're you're no, done sexually. No, you can really get in the groove now. Okay, on to our final question. Um, after I orgasm, my clit is hypersensitive. How can I improve my masturbation technique so that I don't have to wait 30 minutes between orgasms? So when she's masturbating or having a partner, she plays with her clit. It gets so sensitive. I had a lot of men write in to the boards and talk about this, how they don't know what to do because their woman's clit gets super sensitive and how do I move past oh, Okay, this? okay. No big deal. What happens okay. is that it is the, the sensitivity will last for just a few moments, but in our mind... It's longer. Yeah. It's just a few moments. So... So whatever kind of stimulation you're getting, lighten up, keep the pelvic rocking, okay. keep rocking. breathing, keep, in other words, keep the sexual energy flowing, just back off of your clit. Back off, give it a little rest, under a minute sometimes. You know what, I do that too. My clit doesn't get hypersensitive, but if I'm using my wand or I'm using my water dancer and it gets, you know, I have the first orgasm. Back up. I move it down and I bring my vibrator down to my anus and I just feel the vibrations. Or I lift it up to my mound and just keep it there. Or I might shut it off just for a second and then eventually I go back. But I don't wait that long. So if this is, if this is, she's asking about masturbation. Yeah. Okay, and for the guys, back off. But keep your hand there and keep her engaged in sexual energy because it passes and then you get then you get into the habit of oh yes stop oh for just a moment just a moment just and a just moment. hold it I love it when you uh, just cup a whole hand and hold it because you just yeah. had this insane orgasm yes, yes and you just hold it and you sit and maybe you can kiss or suck a nipple yeah. or you know what I mean just take coast, your time coast a little coast bit coast a little bit and then go right back and. But it's mental. It's like, oh, oh. It's hypersensitive. Don't touch it. <laughs> That'll pass. That is, and that's practicing. That's just practicing. Mm -hmm. the, the important thing about masturbation, and I've been teaching this for 100 years, is that masturbation is the foundation for human sexuality. It starts in utero. We have these feelings when we're infants, and we have it when we're toddlers. And we should continue to have those sensations for our entire life. And it should not be interfered with. So parents who don't interfere, children who get to continue, will be sexually healthy. So praise masturbation. It is the foundation.